Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Are you getting mcuicnt.exe error entry not found? The full error message reads mcuicnt.exe entry point not found. The procedure entry point bcrypt hash couldn't, couldn't be located in the dynamic link library bcrypt.dll error. Error message. If you are getting this error message, then don't worry. Lot of people are getting this one and in this video, I'll be guiding you through the steps to fix the issue. So before going forward, first let's understand this error. Now, uh, be because it's important to understand why this error occur. So this error can be occur due to missing or outdated DLL file or even issue with your McAfee security software on your computer. So to fix this issue, you need to update the Microsoft DLL libraries and uninstall and reinstall McAfee. So let's uh, discuss how you can fix it uh, in the detail. First step is update the Microsoft DLL libraries. First thing you need to download and in, uh, install these two essential component. One is that uh, visual C++ redistributable. Second is DirectX and user run, uh, runtime web installer. I will provide this link in the description. You go, uh, you can go and download the this one from the direct uh, that link. So, what uh, first you have to uh, head over the official website of Microsoft uh, to download this visual C++ redistributable. Uh, Scroll down and uh, here you will find that 64 version and 32 bit version. So uh, click on the link accordingly just to download the uh, this visual C++ redistribute. After downloading, run the installer and click on the install or repair to update the visual C++ library on your system. Second thing is you have to uh, download the DirectX and user runtime web installer. So just add over the official website of the Microsoft and to download this one here first you can select the English language then just simply click on the here you if you want to read more detail you can scroll down and uh, you can read the all the details here to download just click on the download link and your download will be started after that run this installer accept the agreement and follow the on screen instruction to install DirectX on your computer once you have installed both one restart your computer to make sure the changes take effect so you will find as i already told you will find this link in the description second step is you need to uninstall and restore mcafe to uninstall the mcafe you uh, you can download the mcafe removal tool so for this you can uh, download this mcafe removal tool from the official mcafe website i'll provide the link in the description you can go and direct, direct download this link okay so after uh, after going to uh, to the McAfee website, I think it's taking time to load. Let's uh, wait to open this file or this link. Okay, now this is open. Just scroll down. When you scroll down, there is an option to remove using McAfee consumer product removal tool. Click on this one to expand and scroll down and you will find the link here. Download the MCPR tool. When you click on this link, automatically this, uh, this particular tool will be downloaded. After that, <clears throat> run the downloaded removal tool and click on the next and agree to the terms and follow the all the on-screen instruction to uninstall McAfee from your computer. Okay. If you uh, want to read some uh, instruction you can go through this one and you can read all the instruction also after that what you have to do you have to reinstall the mcafe first restart your com uh, computer before reinstalling the mcafe go to the official website and there is a sign in button just first click on uh, sign in to mcafe then navigate to the downloaded and devices section after that and then download the latest version of mcafe then run the installer and follow the all uh, on screen instruction to reinstall McAfee on your computer. Okay, so after downloading the just restart your PC and this error will be resolved. After completing all these uh, steps, 
the mcuicnt.exe error along with the procedure entry point bcrypt has couldn't be located error message should be resolved if this video helped you please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech and uh, more tech tips and tricks if you have any question or run into any issue leave a comments below and i'll do my best to help you out thanks for watching and i'll see you in next video